Inventory management is one of the key strategic areas of logistics management and also supply chain in the larger sense. Inventory management though is a financial component but its application have a great strategic significance in the marketing function too. There are various inventory classification models that we normally include in the context of logistics. These include the ABC classification of selective inventory management technique that is based on streamlining efforts where the payoff is the highest. That is, high value, high usage items are tracked carefully and continuously, while the level for control of other items taper off. Inventory models focus on optimizing costs even while minimizing the expenses related to an idle resource. Single period inventory models find applications in numerous manufacturing and service units, while multi period inventory models focus on the availability of an item on an as and when required basis throughout the year. It may be noted further that fixed order quantity models are even triggered, while the fixed time period models are time triggered. Classification of inventory includes the raw materials inventory, the work in progress inventory, the finished goods inventory, replacement parts inventory, the supplies inventory and last but not the least the transportation commonly referred to as the pipeline inventory. The various costs associated with inventory management are as follows. Inventory holding or carrying costs, cover storage facilities, handling insurance, pilferage, breakage, obsolescence, depreciation and taxes. It also includes the inventory ordering costs that is used to replenish inventory through the purchase or procurement cycle. Inventory setup or production change costs is yet another type of inventory cost that is used to replenish inventory through the manufacturing cycle. It may include changing our equipment from producing one item to producing another. And the last type of cost is what we call the shortage or stock out costs that are associated with the depletion or shortage of the existing stock. The major risk areas involved in inventory management are capital investment, cash flow and the potential for obsolescence of the inventory. The major bill of materials that we normally refer to in the context of inventory management are the manufacturing bill of material which is created by rearranging the engineering BOM with respect to the assembly process followed by the generation of process information that will prepare the new part to be ready for the production process. Planning or modular bill of materials refers to an artificial grouping of items in the BOM format that highlights the relationship of multiple product features, variants and options. The phantom bill of materials as the very term indicates is a fictitious bill of materials created for common sub-assemblies or kits that are not intended to be produced as separate items. A topic that is commonly referred to under inventory management is the bullwhip effect. Bullwhip effect is a common phenomenon observed in forecast driven distribution channels. It refers to major swings and variations in inventory which gets amplified in the upstream of a supply chain. Various behavioral and operational bottlenecks are responsible for the bullwhip effect, the key among them being the following. Misuse of base stock policies, time delay, panic order reactions after unmet demand, forecasting errors, lead time variations, trade promotion and forward buying, inappropriate lot sizing and order synchronization at the discretion of the dealers. What is the impact of a bullwhip effect? The bullwhip effect leads to excess of inventory, inefficient production, poor customer service and lost sales that may have a snowballing impact on operational costs. This can be partially overcome through a vendor managed inventory system, just-in-time replenishment and demand-remand materials requirements planning or MRP.